guys, I am Carlo Gechukome, a YouTuber and fashion designer based in Enugu State, Nigeria. So on today's video, I will be showing us how to achieve a beaded flower smoke hand stitched embroidery. We will be needing a pair of scissors, beads, thread, needle and fabric. As you must have noticed, I'm using a pre-marked fabric to show us that any fabric can be used, whether plain, printed, blade, or stripe can be used to achieve this. As usual, I will go my thread through the needle eye, after which I will spread my fabric on the table and start sewing. Remember, you will have to sew through the edges of the square on the fabric. That is from one point to the other making it four sides. When you are done with that, you now pull the thread to form a star-like shape. I call it flat. Then you find the center of the shape by the sides and sew through the center. After the first sewing, take your bead and sew it onto the shape. This is to reinforce the shape and prevent it from loosening. We'll continue this pattern till you cover your desired size on the fabric. Be careful with this before you prick your finger with the needle. I know a lot of you will be wondering, why is it doing this? Of what use is this? Permit me to tell you. Smoking is an embroidery technique used to gather fabric so that it can not stretch or it can stretch. This was used before elastics were introduced in the fashion industry. Smoking embroidery can be used in cuffs, necklines, bodies of garments where buttons are not needed. They can also be used to pattern and design our pillow covers, cushions, bedspreads, or anything you can think of. It is just so versatile. As you're sewing, once you complete a square, pop out the flower petals. Once you have completed the row, you will have to jump the next row and continue with the third row. Also, always remember to jump the next square beside the one you just finished with and move to the next one. Here is our progress so far, and I know you're loving it already. I hope you try this out on your own. I hope to show us how to use the finished work either as a cuff, bodice, or neckline of a garment, or as pillow covers in my subsequent videos. Expect more patterns in our next video. If this video interests you, give it a big thumbs up, comment and share to your friends. To all my existing subscribers, thank you for your continued viewing and to my new viewers, please endeavor to subscribe and leave your notification buttons on so you could be the first to be notified whenever I post videos. Thank you. Bye. See you in my next video. Have a great day.